Dude, what are you doing? Where have you been? I've been looking for you for like two days. Looking for me? Dude, you left me in you, the woods. You disappeared. I, my thing died. I had to go charge it and I went what looking for crap? you and it was gone. Dude. What are you doing over here? Um, I'm coming to see if you're alive, man. We're going to cook some pompano. You weren't even out there this morning. We crushed the pompano. You caught pompano without me? All right, man. Hop in. Let's go. Let's go to your house. No, you're riding in the back. I'm riding in the back. All right. Okay, guys. So as I've stated many times, I'm pretty sure Brant and Pamela Beachbum are trying to kill me with some of these strenuous activities we go on. Whether we go out on the jetties or horizontal mountain climbing, as I like to call it, or they decide they wanna jump on the bikes for a two mile jaunt around Lake Shelby to go bass fishing, I get tired. It's hard on a fat kid, man. All right. But tomorrow, I'm gonna one up them because I came here to Water Boys in downtown Pensacola and I picked myself up an electric one wheel pint. Now, if you're not familiar with what these things are, they are awesome. They are basically a skateboard with one wheel in the middle. They're supposed to be super easy to ride. Now, full disclosure, I may die in this process, but I'm not gonna die tired tomorrow because I have never participated in any kind of board sport. I honestly don't even know of a time I've ever even been on a skateboard. So this could be really interesting, but you hop on it. I've watched several videos. I'm gonna go out, try to figure it out just a little bit tonight before I meet Brant in the morning and see if I can't use this to limit my pedaling on the trip tomorrow. You guys come along. So I've got the one wheel out of the box and I, like I've watched multiple videos on this and everybody makes it look like stupid easy. The main thing is I don't really wanna fall out there with Brant tomorrow because I mean, let's be honest, he would put it in his video and everybody would see. So I'm going to try to figure this out without like dying. Now see, there wasn't a single YouTube video that made it look like that. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not as easy as what they made it look. Okay, I think I have it. I think I can ride this two miles tomorrow without completely falling and dying. It's time to break out the bikes, all right? We got to ride. <laughs> look what Ron brought. He was. I told him to bring a bike, dude. Look at... I, I, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to make it. Dude, I'm making it. What are you talking about? If I don't, it'll be great content. <laughs> I cannot believe you showed up with that, man. <laughs> I've got a new name for Cameraman Ron's YouTube channel. I can't change the name anymore. One Rod, One Wheel Fishing. <laughs> hey, I'm just impressed I haven't dodged yet. We're not kind of lost, we are lost. Ron's Segway quit working on the mushy segway, ground. <laughs> We're trying to explore new areas here. And I am not taking this across that little bridge. You're not? That's a sure, no, I'm not riding it. That's a surefire way for me to end up in that little creek. Let's see where we're at. Cameraman Ron has not made it yet. The last time I saw him, he was on his little one wheel. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this guy? No, sir. You sure? He would have been out here like casting a pole and like throwing a fit every now and then maybe. About like yay tall. About that tall? Uh, maybe a little taller. He's a tall dude. I think I would have noticed him if I'd seen him. He's not here. Seen 
this guy? Are you sure? Like, look at his hair. His, his hair's his thing. Like, you would notice it. Pretty sure. No. Where is he? Wait a minute. Have you seen this guy? Nah, nah. Is he some kind of fisherman or something? Yeah, he'd be out here fit. Are you? Wait, are you sure you haven't seen him? Like, you look like you would know him. I've never seen that dude before. Okay, man. Have a good day. All right. In all seriousness, guys, I had an absolute blast making this video. Huge shout out to all those people involved that really helped make this happen. We did, in fact, purchase a couple one wheels from Waterboys in downtown Pensacola. It was just something that I thought I would really enjoy. I've never participated in any kind of board sports, whether it be skateboarding, surfing, wakeboarding. I've just never done anything like that. So I was a little concerned on whether or not I would be able to ride these. And surprisingly, they are very easy to ride. I started off with the pint. Now the pint is only rated for 250 pounds and that's right where I'm at. And it's stated very clearly online and on the box that if you weigh that or close to that, that the battery probably will not last as long. And that's exactly what happened while I was out fishing with Brant the other day. The battery on the pint did die. Now, it lasted like five and a half miles even with my weight and it's only rated for six to eight miles. So overall, I was pleased with how it did. That being said, I really felt like I needed something that was going to go a little bit farther. So I did end up going out and picking up the XR as well. The reason we did that after Sarah rode the pint, she wanted one too. So it just made sense for us to go out and pick up another one and rather than pick up another pint, pick up the XR instead because it's rated for a heavier person like myself. And it's also rated for 12 to 18 miles. So it's going to give me that extra distance that I needed to go out fishing. I'll probably use these a lot on trips like that where we're going out to Lake Shelby or if we have a lot of spot hopping to do. These things can be taken off road. They don't have to stay on blacktop just like you saw in that video there out at Lake Shelby. I was riding dirt trails. I will tell you the one thing that I've discovered that they showed online and in tons of videos is people riding these on sand. Now I'm not sure how they're doing that because I will tell you here in Navy Point where I'm shooting this at back when we had Hurricane Sally a lot of this sand is still washed over the pathways completely and I can tell you that when you try to ride over that sand it does not do great going over top of the sand. So that was the only time where I put this board to the test over the last few days and I felt like it just wasn't giving me everything that they had said that it would do online. Now you may be asking yourself why in the world we bought one wheels and the answer is plain and simple. This was 100% a splurge purchase folks we did not need these we just wanted them i have wanted a one wheel ever since the day i saw peter mckinnon take his out of the box in nevada and ride it in nelson nevada in that ghost town little known fact i was actually in nelson nevada about four days after peter mckinnon was there shooting that video and fell in love with that place so now i think my next step is going to be to take the one wheel out to nelson nevada and ride it through there because that is just a cool area but we have been back and forth on whether to buy these things for literally Literally the better part of three years and we finally decided to go ahead and just pull the trigger and do it and we are super super happy with our purchase guys i hope you enjoyed that video we cannot thank you enough for tuning in each and every week with us for every one of these adventures if you are new here we would love it if you would smash that subscribe button i hope every one of you has a great week and we can't wait to see you on the next one y'all take care and we'll see you soon